Have you ever wondered what the universe looked like 13 billion years ago? The James Webb Space Telescope is now providing us with stunning images that not only challenge our understanding of the cosmos, but also spark new questions about life beyond Earth. Welcome to our channel. In this episode, we're diving into the mysteries of deep space. Brought to light by the groundbreaking discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope. From revealing the oldest galaxies to capturing the birth of stars, this telescope is revolutionizing our view of the universe. Let's explore the incredible insights it offers and hear from Bill Nye on what these discoveries mean for us. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched on Christmas Day 2021, has been a game changer for astronomers worldwide. Shortly after it became operational in June 2022, it began uncovering thousands of galaxies, some of which existed over 13 billion years ago, well before those seen by the Hubble Space Telescope. Webb's infrared capabilities have revealed protostars forming within the iconic Pillars of Creation, a site previously hidden from view. Bill Nye highlights how Webb's observations are helping us understand the atmospheric composition of distant planets, potentially hinting at conditions suitable for life. The telescope's imaging has also provided detailed views of galaxies like the Phantom Galaxy, showcasing intricate structures and star-forming regions. One of the most stunning revelations includes Webb's ability to directly image exoplanets, such as HIP 65426b, a gas giant far from its host star. These images, coupled with data on other celestial bodies like Titan's methane clouds, and the Southern Ring Nebula's mysterious gas emissions, offer a deeper understanding of planetary and stellar formation processes. The James Webb Space Telescope has been pivotal in expanding our understanding of brown dwarfs, a class of celestial objects that are larger than planets but not quite massive enough to sustain the nuclear fusion that powers stars. These enigmatic objects occupy a unique position in the cosmic hierarchy, often described as failed stars, because they lack sufficient mass to ignite and sustain hydrogen fusion in their cores. Webb's discoveries in this area, particularly the observation of the brown dwarf VHS 1256b, have shed light on a range of unexpected atmospheric phenomena and have fueled excitement about the potential for finding extraterrestrial life. VHS 1256b stands out among brown dwarfs due to its remarkable atmospheric characteristics. This object exhibits sand and silica clouds, a phenomenon that challenges our conventional understanding of atmospheric dynamics in substellar objects. The presence of these clouds suggests complex atmospheric processes at work, possibly involving weather patterns and dynamic cloud formations that are influenced by the brown dwarf's temperature, pressure, and chemical composition. This discovery is particularly intriguing because it parallels some atmospheric processes observed on planets indicating that brown dwarfs may have more in common with planets than previously thought. The detection of such clouds in VHS 1256b's atmosphere was made possible by Webb's advanced infrared capabilities. Unlike visible light, which is easily scattered and absorbed by dust and gas, infrared light can penetrate these obscuring materials, providing a clearer view of the underlying atmospheric conditions. Webb's spectrographs can dissect the light from these objects into their component wavelengths revealing the chemical fingerprints of various elements and compounds. This capability allows scientists to identify specific molecules present in the atmosphere, including those that might be considered biosignatures. One of the most exciting aspects of Webb's observations is its ability to detect molecules such as methane in the atmospheres of brown dwarfs. Methane is a simple hydrocarbon that, on Earth, is predominantly produced by biological processes, including microbial activity. Its presence in an extraterrestrial atmosphere could indicate similar biological activity, making it a potential biosignature. However, it's important to note that methane can also be produced through non-biological processes, such as volcanic activity or chemical reactions in the atmosphere. Therefore, while the detection of methane is a tantalizing hint, it is not definitive proof of life. Nonetheless, its detection in an object like VHS 1256b, which lies in the ambiguous region between planets and stars, opens up new possibilities for studying the conditions that might support life. The atmospheric composition of VHS 1256b also includes other intriguing elements such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, and potassium. The ratios of these gases provide valuable insights into the processes occurring within the brown dwarf's atmosphere. For instance, the presence of water vapor and methane together could suggest a dynamic atmosphere with vertical mixing, where different layers interact and transport gases. 
This kind of atmospheric turbulence is significant because it influences the weather patterns and climatic conditions of the brown dwarf. Much like the weather systems on Earth or the gas giants in our solar system. Moreover, the discovery of these elements in VHS 1256b's atmosphere prompts questions about the object's formation and evolution. Brown dwarfs like VHS 1256b are believed to form in a manner similar to stars, through the collapse of gas clouds. But without gathering enough mass to initiate fusion. Understanding the chemical composition of these objects can provide clues about the materials present in the original gas cloud and the processes that led to the brown dwarf's current state. For example, the abundance of certain elements might indicate that VHS 1256b formed in a region rich in metals or other compounds, which could have influenced its atmospheric chemistry. The study of brown dwarfs and their atmospheres is also critical for refining our models of planetary formation and evolution. Brown dwarfs can serve as laboratories for studying atmospheric processes that might be difficult to observe directly on planets. They can help us understand the diversity of planetary atmospheres and the range of conditions under which clouds can form. For instance, the detection of sand and silica clouds in VHS 1256b suggests that these types of clouds might also be present in the atmospheres of certain exoplanets, especially those that are hot and massive. This information is crucial for interpreting data from other planetary systems and for assessing their potential habitability. In addition, Webb's findings about VHS 1256b have broader implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. The presence of complex molecules in the atmosphere of a brown dwarf raises the possibility that such molecules could also be present in the atmospheres of exoplanets within the habitable zone of their stars. The habitable zone is the region around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet, a key ingredient for life as we know it. By studying brown dwarfs, we can gain insights into the range of chemical processes that might occur in these atmospheres, helping us to better understand where and how life might arise in the universe. Furthermore, the advancements in infrared astronomy made possible by Webb are opening new frontiers in exoplanet research. By studying objects like VHS 1256b, scientists can test and refine techniques for detecting and analyzing the atmospheres of smaller, Earth-like planets. This is especially important as we move closer to the goal of finding planets that not only lie within their star's habitable zone but also show signs of having atmospheres capable of supporting life. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope's observations of brown dwarfs like VHS 1256b are not just a curiosity. They represent a significant step forward in our quest to understand the universe and our place within it. By revealing the complex and unexpected nature of these objects, Webb is challenging our assumptions and inviting us to explore new frontiers in the search for life beyond Earth. As we continue to study these findings, we may come closer to answering one of humanity's oldest and most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope is not just an astronomical tool, it's a window into the history and evolution of the universe. As we continue to analyze its data, we may find answers to some of the most profound questions about our existence and the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the stars. Stay tuned for more exciting discoveries. And don't forget to check out the next video on our channel for more mind-blowing content about space exploration.